Hello guys, um, Captain Alex Mason here, and um, now normally I never really do this sort of stuff on today on today's date, and um, I originally had a a tribute um, prepared, but um, I um, couldn't get it to work. Team deathmatch. Delta team, you are cleared to engage. And um, I chose this map because of obvious reasons. Um, today is 9/11, uh, unfortunately, um, sadly. And um, everybody knows what happened on that day. And um, basically, what I'm going to be talking about in this video um, is events that. Um, were caused by this event and um, things that led up to this. Um, basically, now in uh, 1979 there was a whole Soviet-Afghan war between the Soviet Union and the Mujahideen um, rebel fighters, which um, are now known as Al-Qaeda forces. And back then, though, they were the good guys, like, basically. And, um, one of their, uh, members, which we know very well, Osama bin Laden, um, was part in one of, took part in one of the big, uh, events that day. Um, now, when he first started his act of terrorism, he started to prefer to the 1983 Marine Barracks bombing in Beirut during the 1982 Lebanon War. And he would use that as like an example to all of his terrorist followers and to any of those who would like follow his, uh, his uh, ruling, of course. Now, um, and then he started doing a couple of things in 1998. Um, I, I don't recall if he destroyed an actual military vehicle or if it was um, a an actual thing, like an actual um Thing, like if it was a cargo ship or anything, but I know it was American, and um, I know that Bin Laden and his followers were behind the attack. And now, we'll be focusing more on September 11th attacks. Now, um, chronologically, um, in New York, on 8:46 a.m., an American Airlines flight number 11 was um, hijacked and flew into the North Tower, which is the one with the big uh, point, or the big tower on it. Kind of like uh, that thing over there. Um, now you got, now one thing is for starters, we got to, everybody needs to remember that when the World Trade Centers were up, this hasn't been the first time that there's been, like, a plane crash into the building. And this hasn't been the first time that the World Trade Center has been on the news for a lot of its events, like the World Trade Center bombing, the bank robbery in 98, etc., etc. But, um, now, the planes that crashed into it previously, though, they were more like small little piston engine planes, like, you know, private planes. This, this is a big airliner. Like, a Boeing, big Boeing, um, airliner. And that was at 8.46 a.m. at their standard time. And at, um, 8.46.43 a.m., the 1st Battalion Chief of the FDNY, Joseph Pitt, Pfeiffer, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right, 
um, made his first radio call to advise the FDNY to head to, to all meet up at the World Trade Center because there is an event going on. And basically, here's what he said. He said to the Manhattan Dispatch that says, Battalion 1 to Manhattan, and then they replied, Battalion 1K. Um, and then he says back to them, we had just had a plane crash into the upper floor of the World Trade Center, transmit a second alarm, and start relocated companies into the area, and they said 10-4 Battalion 1. Uh, this time, um, a lot of uh, um, airfield bases, like for the military and stuff, were already being scrambled because um, some, like when the jets were hijacked, they turned some of their transponders off when the terrorists took over the cockpit and stuff, and then they they rerouted the intentional route that the plane, the airliners, the airline was supposed to go, and um, well, you know, I'm sorry, but um. That was um, that was a horrible day, and uh, next thing um, we find out is that one of the F the at 8:52 a.m. there were F-15 e Eagles, which are fighter jets that were used in the Persian Gulf War and the Lebanon War, um, from Otis Air National Guard Base were told to intercept Flight 11, but when they got there, it was too late. They had already crashed into the building. Um, at 8.55 a.m., um, President George W. Bush was visiting um, Emma E. Brooker, Booker, I'm sorry, elementary school in Saratosa, Florida, and, and one of his I don't know what they're called. One of his m people, uh, they're not Secret Service, but they follow him around a lot, um, noti told him that uh, planes crashed into the World Trade Centers and the actual Pentagon in D.C. and everything. And there's another reason why I'm doing this because you know a lot of this um, everybody just started to forget and um, you know I don't want us to like forget something like this now I can't recall hang on I actually don't remember this one ironically enough At this event, I was only two years old, and I was at my babysitter's house, and my mom, she had just got back from a trip on, or she was heading up with her friends to Appleton, and um, she hears it on the radio. She tells um, my babysitter that, um, to turn her TV on because there had been a been an attack at the World Trade Center in the Pentagon and um, for those who were who were old enough to remember this all the TV programming stopped their um, broadcasting like what shows they were show um, airing and all the commercials had stopped like in um, one of them, I think it was CNN, the commercials just went off. They they cut into the middle of one commercial and then said, we have breaking news and everything like that. Um, this was planned, really. This was planned professionally and um, it, 
it was it was awful. Now the crash it doesn't tell me when they um yeah, it crashed. Um but it was early in the morning. Then uh, they they uh, did some stuff that they felt like they were proud of. It was probably like nine something in the morning, and they hit the Pentagon. And one thing you need to know is that on that flight, flight 175, American Airlines flight 175, was that there was a two and a half year old girl on that plane and she was the youngest casualty on the plane and the overall attacks and the um, one of the oldest passengers there was an 85 year old man possibly a war vet I don't I don't really know but um uh And um, at 9:03 a.m. Oh wait, that was American Airlines Flight 77. That was not 175. Um, but flight United Airlines Flight 175 was hijacked, and then it flew into the South Tower, the World Trade Center. And then that's when everybody, or most of the people, that thought that this was just a tragic accident, now figured out that this was an organized plan. And I was wrong. It was 9:09 .09 a.m. that the flight crashed into the Pentagon, and then um, at 9:41:15 a.m. Um, and before that, um, a lot of people who were trapped on the top floors, um, they decided to um, jump off the World Trade Center, and their choices were to either die in the fiery graves that they were about to be um, placed in or to die um, jumping off and one guy he jumped head first like you know like when you make a statement when you martyr yourself like everything and um, I'll, I'll continue this later guys